Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is uh, Relate, Subtraction, and Division. Okay, so it's a pretty easy lesson, so let's go ahead and get started. Our common core strand is given there. Our essential question is how is division related to subtraction? So I'll show you a few ways in this lesson here. Uh, here's one. Bonnie and Lyle brought a total of 12 cans to school for the canned food drive. Each of them brought in one can per day. For how many days did these two bring in cans? Okay, let's answer a couple of questions here. So, how many cans were brought in all together? Okay, well, right here it says Bonnie and Lyle uh, brought in a total of 12 cans right there. So, 12 cans all together. And this question says, how many cans did the two bring in all together each day? Well, this sentence right here says, each of them uh, brought in one can per day. So, if each of them brought in one can per day, that means that they, they brought in two cans with, uh, all together for both of them, okay? So, two cans a day. So, I just moved the problem up there, you guys. So, one way is to use sub, uh, repeated subtraction. Since they brought in two cans per day, and, we're, and we know that they brought in a total of 12 cans, what we can do is start with 12, and then start subtracting two because they brought in two cans per day until we reach uh, zero. Okay, so we'll count the number of times, uh, and then after that, we'll count the number of times uh, that we subtracted two. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's one. So I'm starting at 12, and I take away two. So 12 minus two is 10, and then we do it again. 10 minus two is is eight. Okay, and then I'll do it again, and then eight minus two is six, and then again, six minus two is four. I want to get all the way to zero. So keep going. 4 minus 2 is 2. Finally, uh, 2 minus 2 is 0, and we finally got to 0. And then this part says right here, let's count the number of times we subtracted 2. Okay, we subtracted 2 right there. There's 1, there's 2, there's 3, there's 4, there's 5, there's 6. Okay, so what we did was is um, uh, we subtracted 2 6 times. So how many groups of 2 are in 12? There are 6 groups of 2 in 12. All right, so Bonnie and Lyle brought in cans for six days, okay? So it's asking how many days did they bring in a can. They brought in uh, two all together, and if they had 12 total cans, we just keep taking away two minus two minus two, and it got us to zero. It took us six times to do that. Okay, I just slid that up there. So, so um, what we did is we actually did a, a, a division problem. This says 12 divided by 2 equals 6, or right here, you can write it like this. Remember this in the last lesson? 12 divided by 2 equals 6 right there, okay? Both of these read 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Okay, here's another way, you guys. We can use a number line and count uh, backwards, okay? So we'll, what we'll do is we'll start over here at 2, and since we know they're bringing in, uh, I'm sorry, 12, since we know they're bringing in two cans per day, we'll count back by 2, so we'll do jumps of 2. So I'll jump over here and we'll keep jumping uh, by 2's as many times as we can to get to 0. And then we'll count the number of times that we jumped uh, back to two by two. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to jump by two and see how many times we get all the way to here right there. And it should be the same answers we got there. Okay, so there's one jump of two. Here's two jumps of two. There's three jumps of two. Four jumps of two. Five jumps of two. Finally, we get to six jumps of two, and that gets us to zero right there. Okay, does that make sense? So we jump back uh, by twos six times. So there are six jumps of two that were in 12. Okay, so 12 divided by two is six. That's another way we can do that. Okay, so here it says, uh, explain how we found our answer. Okay, so uh, uh, put the solution up right here. Here's the first way we did this. The first way is we started with 12. Okay, we started with this 12, and we subtracted 2, subtract 2, subtract 2, subtract 2, subtract 2, subtract, until we finally get to 0 right there. So we subtracted 2 till we reached 0. Then we counted how many times we subtracted 2. So we counted, we subtracted 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, and so it gave us uh, 6 times right there. The other way was this, you guys. Here's the other way right here. We, um, uh, we started with 12 on a number line right here, and then we de uh, did jumps of 2. We counted back by 2's until we got to 0. So there was 2, there was 2, there was 2, and then it finally got to, there were 6 groups of 2 that jumped into, until we finally got back to 0. Okay? All right. So what did the uh, what did the jumps of two represent in this diagram? All right. Well, recall when we had uh, twelve divided by two equals six. Remember from the last lesson, you guys. This one's called the dividend. This one's the divisor. This one's the quotient right here. 
So the 2 was the quotient in the division problem above. So that's what it's asking right there. All right, you guys, take care.